Welcome to GDPG, and it just stopped raining. After <laughs> how, two how, sleep attempts. Two, yeah, two sleep attempts. Hey, yup. I don't know why you expected it to stop. Oh, I'm really hungry. Uh, oh my. Uh, uh, I'm just gonna eat this. I'm oh, just gonna you eat can this. Just consume, that's I'm nice. just gonna eat. I'm just gonna eat it. Hey man, it's okay. I would. I eat don't know how to get food because I can like cook the yuca, but I don't have the crap to make it because I made that knife instead because I'm smart. I mean, to be fair, the game kind of told you to do that. I'm just gonna consume this stack of mulberries, so I'm not starving. Man, that barely satiates Does your hunger. anything to- like, look at those bottles up there! I want those bottles! So I get the feeling that is the most difficult element- whoa, that was a weird transition. Ooh. Yeah, okay, that's- that's a bit much. All right. Yeah, snappy cameras are Raft. not always the best. Can I just like, okay, can oh, I- Oh, you can stash things, okay. Can I put- Raft. Okay, yeah, but I can only do that when I was next to it. That How makes do sense. you use those, um, what are they called, blueprints or- Uh, you have to be at a dock. Let's see if I can find one. Although it'd be really I, nice if I could find- dock. No, um, there's like specific ones for, uh, fixing your raft. Oh. Oh, okay, there's, so a, like, there's, so there's a, a camp. Oh, oh yeah, there's a fire there, and I can cook my yucca. Ooh, well, hopefully the fire's still there. Or yucca, I'm not really sure. Philandavan? Ah, so we were talking about exactly, why is it always night? Barely went anywhere. It's um, true, you did barely travel. Hey, Ooh. a new, uh, a new task here. What is it? Oh. It's, a. Uh, be prepared. The more you can carry, the better off you are. You'll be expanding your carrying capacity with the pouch. Ooh, I, I have was to make wondering a pouch. about that. Okay. That's nice, though, because it seems like you've already had a tough time kind of, like, holding on to, uh, or being able to, like, take, carry enough get, stuff. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Go, go, go. I'm just scaring off the crow. Yeah, because not only do you get a feather, whatever that, oh, you can make arrows with it, but, uh, oh. but they, uh, apparently will... Warn of wolves. The crows? Yeah. Like they draw wolves. I'm not too. sure. It, it's it's oh good flint. You should use that fire and this moldy lump and cook what? something because you're gonna die soon. If you die in traveler mode, I'm gonna be disappointed in you. I, I'm I've been told actually the game is just hard. I mean that that's appropriate. It is a rogue light game, um, which I mean rogue lights and rogue likes are kind of just inherently difficult. Oh no! Oh, you need space in your inventory. It wasn't because you sucked at cooking. Yeah, I uh, was worried there for a second too. I know. I was like, no, no, please don't be gone. All right. And let's just put this Do, do this stitching, stitching kit. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter. I mean, he's not going anywhere. Can no, 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 don't him? leave. For, oh, wait, I know what I'm doing wrong. All right, cool. What? Can you issue your dog commands? Uh, I haven't found a way to interact with him. I mean, he sort of seems like he he's pretty helpful regardless, but um, I just realized something. So, d did you know that a lot, large portion of the team that made this worked on Bioshock uh, Infinite? Actually, I did. So, I, I don't know why I didn't, like put two and two together, but that game was, was renowned for having like a great companion mechanics. And I agree. I think the way that they, they utilized your sidekick, uh, what's her name? I'm not sure. Didn't play it. <sighs> Sorry. I don't remember what her name is, but, um, people, people really liked it because it actually felt like she was helping. Um, even if it got a little redundant at times. So it's like, their use of the dog is actually kind of similar like he's just helping you find stuff and kind of leading you along sometimes um, But it's good design like if you imagine this game without the dog Yeah, would it would it? Well as we discussed already you would have to um, You'd have, have to like make items more obvious You'd have to not only make items more obvious, but the game would also a be more difficult in and B um, I don't think it would feel as, as good. It would feel very, like, I don't know, idea. stereotypical, I guess, of a post-apocalyptic survival, survival game. I mean, like, A Boy and His Dog is a very traditional story for post-apocalypse, too. Like, there's literally a, a movie 
from what the 1970s it's like that's called a boy and his dog and that's what it is it's a boy and his dog in post-apocalyptic setting like that's where it started or maybe there was a book but either way um not that this is a new concept but it, it feels you? so much better to have a dog to have your companion. It really does. You don't feel alone. I think that's a, a huge difference, actually. Oh, I can make a raft frame now and a stone hammer. I, I, you know what I think it is? I think it's having something that you can emotionally bond with um, that kind of sets that tone. It doesn't matter what it is, even if it was like a bird, right? Or maybe if it was another human, right? The fact that you have another character to bond with, I think, makes the game feel that much deeper. It's good. It's it's really good. And imagine if anything bad happens to your dog. You're going to be heartbroken by the end of this game. Oh, don't say that, man. <laughs> I mean, if it since it's procedurally generated, I don't know if they have like a story that requires that to happen, but who knows? They could. Could be. Could be one of those things like you get to the very end. It's like, uh huh, you have to choose between <laughs> saving your dog, saving um, yourself, why or Why would I do that? Saving a town of children. I don't know. <laughs> Like me and my dog. Sorry, kids. <laughs> I don't even know how you're alive or why you're here, but you're gone now. All right. Do you think that would make sense for this game, though, to have kind of a uh, a moral choice? I mean, maybe it would because we're not very deep in the game, but at the same time, I don't know. It's more about survival, right? Like, we're not trying to be good or evil. We're just trying to live. Yeah. But I imagine that will be the case if we encounter other humans. I mean, that is t typically one of those elements of, of uh, surviving in a, in a post-apocalyptic thing, or a world in general, is that at some point it makes you um, question uh, your morality in, in those toughest situations. Collect. Do you think that there are any games that really do that well, though? Because I feel like most people that play a survival game especially, if I were given the option of, you know, like... I can eat for the next week, or if if I like kill this family, or just steal from them. Not, not even necessarily kill them, right? Yeah. It's, if I steal from this family, now they no longer have anything to eat, and they might they might die. But I have food for a week, and they don't. Um, or I could just leave them alone and potentially die and fail the game. I think most players are going to be like, well, I want to keep playing the game. Sorry, family. I'm taking your food. Uh, one game that I think that did that exceptionally well yeah. was this War of Mine, because oh, there's literally yes. there's the quiet house, and it's literally a house uh, with an old couple, like an old man and an old old woman. And they're married, or, or presumably, um, and they're too old and feeble to do anything. Like the wife, she can't get out of her chair because she's sick. And they like just and beg you to not take their stuff. Yeah, you can you can just walk in. The door is unlocked. You can go in and steal all of their stuff. And the old man goes around being like pleading with you, saying like, "Please don't take my food. My wife needs that medicine." And you're just like, "Oh my heart! <laughs> oh no!" But you do it anyway, because like, sorry, old people, you're old and gonna die. This is, I'm a refugee, like, I gotta eat, man. Um, it's good. It's, it's like one of the only games, though, that I think has legitimately made you feel things in that situation. Most yes. of your games, it's like a no-brainer. I mean, that, that, this war of mine was tragic in so many regards. <laughs> yeah. uh, this doesn't seem, or so far at least, this game doesn't really t tend to hit on that at all. It's mostly about your survival and, and seems to be about the world around you to a degree. Mm -hmm. But, man, I mean, there, you mentioned it before. There's a dog. Like, <laughs> it's you and a dog. There's, there's Something's going to happen. Right. I, I, I'm really, really cur curious to see what they do with the humans. It actually reminds me of that Penny Arcade uh, um, comics they, they had when uh, The Last Guardian, uh, the trailer for that was revealed. <laughs> During The Last Guardian, it was like... Or when it came out, they were like, oh, man, did you see this uh, this uh, cool uh, game that's coming out? And the other guy's he's like, no, I'm not going to play that. <laughs> he's like, why are you so angry about this? He's like, dude, it's about a boy and his giant pet. Only two outcomes can come from that, and I don't want to be involved in either of those. <laughs> <laughs> that is fantastic. Penny Arcade knows what's up. Right. <laughs> go this way. I'm so hungry. 
So when we first saw those like tree debris things floating around, I first thought it was like a sea monster because it kind of like Just moved and, and followed the player for a second. I was like, no, no sea monster. It monsters. did seem to turn around and look at us. Oh, that's the dock that I need to show you. Crap. Running and stuff. Wow. Yeah, I got a little. I'm, uh, I'm gonna get. Oh, it. I see. Oh, wow. magic, dude! Nice. I don't even like really need it, but like I want to. Actually, no, I do have a thing I can make with it now. You've never gone like white so wi river rafting, have you? Um, no, I've gone canoeing a whole lot though. Oh, uh, canoeing's not. Well, I guess it can be similar if you're in the right rivers or uh, oh, man, what or rapids or what have you. Raft ramp, build, upgrading your raft. But yeah, man, when there's a current, sometimes you are just stuck on that current. Um, that's why I'm surprised that you were able to maneuver as well as you did. Game logic. Ah, oh, come on, I made the, the, the raft thing, though. I want to make something. Did I just... Upgrade? I made a I made an item, and it uh, is doing nothing now. <laughs> what was it for? It's a raft frame. Basic material needed for building... For uh, building... Out raft upgrades and parts for building. For building. So then. Oh, it got dark real quick. Jesus, man! Can I sleep here? Why can't I sleep here? I don't want Jeez. gas. Yeah, time flies really fast in this game. All right. Well, sturdy frame would be a schematic, which I have one of one of. I have no raft hardware, and it needs two frameworks. Okay, so we need to loot some more stuff. Well, we, tell you we what. We need to hit the. The river is what we need to do. No, Are we gonna do that in the next episode? Yeah, is that what you're about to tell me? The river in the next episode. Hitting the river. Hitting the river. In the next episode of I'm dying because I can't eat. <laughs> GDP. Why didn't you cook more of those samplings? And I I can't. It's the yucca, and I cooked all the yucca. Oh. Yeah, man. That, I'm dying. Eat that. Look element. at this. I'm dying. I'm oh, pausing the screen because I'm dying. Question of the day, so I don't die. Question of the day. Um. God. Oh, a little showing me where everything's at. Oh, do you think that's kind of our like path of everything we've been through so far? Maybe. Maybe that's like the components that are procedurally generated, so it kind of gives you a hint of what's to come. Oh, that might be it. I don't know where we are on that. Hmm. I don't know. There, there's something there though. We'll, we'll have to figure that out. Uh, question of the day. Mm, moral choices. Do you think that moral choices A would make sense in a game like this, and B or two? I'm using fingers, I guess. Um, if so, how would you design them in this game? Yeah, where would they fit in? Where would they fit in, and what would mechanically make sense for the game? That's a good question. I'm glad I thought of it. So, uh, that being said, we'll see you guys next time. If you like this game, like we like this game, you should vote on it and let us know so we'll keep playing it. Otherwise, we're going to ignore you and never oh. come back ever. Also, if there's a know. game not in the voting system that we change every single episode... Oh, yeah. Feel free to put it up. Uh, feel free to... What? Feel free to suggest it. Oh, on, yeah. Put it up on the, the chat. Shoot us Let a us know. or message in the comments. But uh, Like, subscribe, follow. Goodbye. <laughs>